Hey guys, Mango here. Today I want to talk about High Stars Elite Series Mirai Mousepad. This is limited to 300 units and it's going to cost you 50 bucks with free shipping in the US. Is it worth that price point? Well, let's talk about it. But before you do so, remember to subscribe to the channel. It's free and it supports me. Like the video, share it with your homies who enjoy this type of gaming tech content. Let's dive into the unboxing experience for the Mirai Mousepad. The box itself has great designs. It's cyberpunk, Japanese, glitch art inspired designs. And I really like it. When you open up the box, you get the Mirai Mousepad itself and a couple accessories like the holographic Mirai sticker, a rubberized high star coaster, and a few cards, one of which lets you know how to maintain and wash the mousepad, which I thought was pretty neat. I do wanna mention High Star did send this out for review, but keep in mind they're seeing this review live right when y'all see it too. Now, the mousepad itself is 490 by 420 by four millimeters thick with authentic pour-on material. It's extra soft, nice and squishy, I really like that. The stitching is phenomenal and is comparable to Artisan. Look here as I compare it to the Artisan stitching. Very impressed with that. And it is supposed to be humidity resistant, which I think is really cool. I don't live in a place with a lot of humidity, so I can't really test that, but that is something that they have alleged. And I'm inclined to believe it as the surface is a hybrid textured material. The surface is sublimation printed and it looks very crisp when you look at it with a macro lens. All the lines are nice and crisp. The text is also very crisp. So overall, very well designed. The mousepad also has one little Easter egg, which is in the bottom left corner. It shows you which unit you have out of the 300. So I thought that was really cool. The surface itself is a great gateway into hybrid surfaces. So let's talk about that. The Mirai is going up against mousepads like Lethal Gaming Gear's Venus Pro, Razer Strider, and then Artisan Hayate Otsu or the Raiden. And when you compare it to those surfaces, this is a far more softer entry-level experience to that world of mousepads. So if that's something you've been interested in, this might be worth copying. When you compare it to the Lethal Gaming Gear Venus Pro, you can see that this material is a little less bunched together and it just looks a little more spread out. Whereas the Venus Pros at a magnified level, you can see it looks more stubbly and bunched together. And check out the audio difference between the two surfaces. The Mirai clearly sounds softer, which I think is pretty cool. If you're someone who doesn't really use an arm sleeve, though I do recommend it, and here's my recommendations video right here, this material is gonna be nice to your skin and it's gonna not cause a lot of irritation, which to me is really important as I do have skin that's a little more on the sensitive side. One thing that I'm not a big fan of is the size. It's 490 by 420. My personal preference is 500 by 500. It's a shame they didn't go that size, but 490 by 420 is acceptable in my eyes. When it comes to the gaming experience with the Mirai, I've had a great time. When it comes to tracking games like Halo, Overwatch, Fortnite, it does a great job. When it comes to games like CSGO and Valorant, it does have a learning curve as getting that consistent, precise flick aim is a little more difficult, but once you master it, you're gonna have a great time. My adjustments with this surface has been pretty solid and I don't find myself having too many micro jitters as I try to move left or right or around the mouse pad, et cetera. Do I think the Mirai is worth the 50 bucks that's being asked? Yeah, I think so. Artisan mouse pads have to be shipped over from Japan and the expenses are insane. When it comes to mouse pads like Lethal Gaming Gear's Venus Pro, which I really like, it's not gonna be in stock till June, 2023. So in the meantime, I think that this is a great entry into the world of hybrid mouse pads that you should pick up if this is something you're interested in, especially since it's limited to the 300 units.